Parky Meteorological Data. Meteorological data. It is important to monitor and define some important meteorological parameters as follows. Air temperature. Agrometeorology is concerned by the air temperature near the level of canopy crop. Daily maximum and minimum temperature are observed during 24 hours daily. As the mean of maximum and minimum daily will maximum be calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. Daylight hours daily percent. The mean daily percent of annual daytime hours is an important factor and depend on the latitude and time of year. As you see, a table showing mean daily percent of annual daytime hours in both northern and southern hemisphere at different latitudes. When velocity effect on the process of removal vapor, when vaporizing water from the soil surface, consequently the air above it gradually saturated with water. Hence, evapotranspiration process will be more affected by wind under hot dry weather than humid one. When velocities differ under different climates and generally cooldowns such as light less than 2 meters per second, moderate from 2 up to 5 meters per second, strong from 5 up to 8 meters per second, and very strong more than 8 meters per second. Table on relation between petrol knots and meter per second scales representing wind speed and each indication. One velocity or speed is lowest at soil surface while increasing with height referring to soil and obstacle factor. For this reason, the anemometers are placed at the chosen standard height accordingly. Adjustment wind velocity data obtained from any instruments placed at elevation differ than standard height of 2 meters should be necessary adjustment either by using the conversion vector or calculate mathematically such as illustrated in the enclosed equation. The effect of wind on evapotranspiration has been studied under different weather conditions and expressed as wind function, according to Penman scientists, and calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. Table on conversion vectors for adjustment wind velocity measured at different heights above soil surface. Atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted by the weight of the Earth's atmosphere. Hence, its value reverses the proportion with altitude. It can be calculated by simplifying the ideal gas law according to Perman, as shown in the enclosed equation. Parameters of Perman equations, follow by yourself, my dear. Table showing the atmospheric pressure values at different altitudes. Atmospheric density can be calculated according to Smith's equation as shown in the enclosed equation. Example on calculation the atmospheric density at two sides having different elevations above sea level, under different mean daily temperature also. Follow by yourself, my dear. My dear, follow the solution of the previous example and note the conclusion. Latent heat of vaporization is the energy required to change a unit mass of water from liquid to vapor at conditions of both pressure and temperature. It can be calculated according to Harrison equation as shown. Psychometric conditions is the ratio of species of moisture air at constant pressure 
تولیتان چی آب واتر و بارزیشان وشتون از کرم دینامیک پروپرتیز اف ماچر ای ایت کان بی کلکولیتد اکوردینگ تو پرانت ایکویشن از شو The specific heat of air at constant temperature is the amount of energy required to increase the temperature of a unit mass of air by one degree at constant temperature. Table showing psychrometric constant at different altitudes. Saturation vapor pressure. Water vapor is a gas and its pressure contributes the total atmospheric pressure. Amount of water in air is related directly to the partial pressure exerted by the water vapor in air. Therefore, consider a direct measure of air water content. The air is known as saturated as that case since it can't store more water molecules. Figure on saturation vapor pressure as a function of air temperature. Look by yourself, my dear. Saturation vapor pressure can be calculated according to tense equation, as shown. People on saturation vapor pressure values at different air temperatures, follow by yourself, my dear. Slope of saturation vapor pressure curve. The slope of saturation vapor pressure changes exponentially with temperature. Hence, slope varies slightly at low temperature while changing more south at high temperature. It can be calculated according to tens and Murray equation and so. Actual vapor pressure. It is a saturation vapor pressure as a dew point temperature and can be calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. On the other hand, actual vapor pressure can be determined from the difference between the dry and wet bulb temperature, with so-called wet bulb depression, as shown in front of you, my dear. The actual vapor pressure can be calculated also from the relative humidity data, as shown in the enclosed equation. Both maximum relative humidity and minimum one can be obtained by dividing the sum of daily values of a period by the number of period days, as shown my dear. Vapor pressure deficit is the difference between the saturation and the actual vapor pressure and is known sometimes as saturation deficit, while relative humidity expresses the degree of air saturation as a ratio of the actual to saturation vapor pressure at the same temperature as shown in front of you, my dear. Figure showing the variation of relative humidity over 24 hours for a constant actual vapor pressure of 2.4 kilopi. Minimum relative humidity is the lowest humidity value during daytime and can be recognized by child low less than 20%, medium from 20 up to 50%, and high more than 50%. While the mean relative humidity can be defined as the mean of daily maximum and minimum relative humidity as shown in the enclosed equation. Radiation. The amount of shrinking radiation at the top of Earth's atmosphere is known as territorial radiation. The intensity of radiation depends upon the angle between the direction of sun rays and normal of atmospheric surface. Territorial radiation is changed as the position of sun change, length of day and hour. Hence, it depends on the latitude and time of year expressed as equivalent evaporation. The relation between equivalent evaporation and equivalent radiation is illustrated in the enclosed equation. Table on territorial radiation in both northern and southern hemisphere at different latitudes expressed in equivalent evaporation per millimeter per day.
the rest of schedule follow by yourself, my dear. The terrestrial radiation in southern hemisphere at different latitudes suppressed as equivalent evaporation per millimeter per day. The rest of the schedule followed by yourself, my dear. As the terrestrial radiation penetrates the atmosphere, part of it is scattered, reflect, and are observed by the atmospheric gases, clouds, and dust. Accordingly, the residual parts which actually reach the Earth's surface is identified as solar radiation and is known also as the global radiation as shown in the enclosed equation. Table on maximum daily possible duration of sunshine hours for all year months in northern and southern hemisphere at different latitudes, and the conversion values from cloudiness units to relative sunshine duration. Usually, clouds is increased in octanonis from 0 up to 8, while sometimes increased in 10 from 0 to 10, which must convert to relative sunshine duration ratio. Anyway, clear sky solar radiation can be calculated according to Allen equation, as shown in front of you, my dear. Clear sky solar radiation can be calculated also according to Peel's law, as shown in front of you. A considerable amount of solar radiation is reflected when reaching the air surface and its fraction is known as albedo. Hence, the net solar or short wave radiation is a fraction of solar radiation which is not reflected from air surface and can be calculated as a function of albedo reflection coefficient as shown. The absorbed solar radiation by Earth is converted to heat energy while the Earth loses part of this energy as long wave radiation. Take in consideration that terrestrial radiation is referred to P as long wave radiation. Anyway, the difference between outgoing and incoming long wave radiation is known as the long wave radiation, as illustrated in the cross figure, my dear. People showing the changing of net long wave radiation as influenced by mean temperature vapor pressure and relative sunshine duration hours followed by your sun. Net long wave radiation can be calculated from the available data of temperature, vapor pressure and relative sunshine duration as shown. Moreover, and for more accuracy, the rate of emission long wave energy is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of surface rising to the fourth power. This relation is expressed quantity by Stephen Portman law as shown. The difference between incoming and outgoing radiation of both short and long wave lenses is known as net radiation as shown. Normally, net radiation is positive during the daytime while being negative during the night time. Table showing the values of Stephen and Boltzmann constant at different air temperatures. Part of energy is utilized for heating the soil and known as soil heat flux. Hence, it is positive when soil is warming and negative when soil is cooling. Generally, soil heat flux can be calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. Soil heat flux can be substituting for a month's period as shown in the enclosed equations. 